Now we get to this point, uh, we need to take further the previous script and provide a, and allow the user to provide a force flag uh, if you want uh, us to disregard the, the, this previous constraint. So basically, let's let's see what uh, let's take an example. Now, if I type in uh, blue, the script accepted. If I type in red, the script tells me it's not a valid color. And um, sometimes we would like to allow the user to forcibly set the color. So we want to make sure that if the user provides by mistake uh, a name of a color that's incorrect, let's say the user uh, types in blue, and then you don't want to allow this type of problems, but um, if you but you do do want to allow other things. So you want to make sure that if the user really really thinks that she's right, then you would li like to allow her to type in force and then to accept the blue co the BLU color in this case, or or, or doesn't really matter. So we want to make sure that if the user types in this force, then uh, and you can't see it well. So let's, you can shorten it, right? Uh, so if you the user types in the minus minus fours, then it will work. So this this still is not, not a valid color, but but this is a valid color, right? And uh, you want to make sure that if the user types in red and then fours, that will be accepted too. So how do we get, sorry for that screen, uh, we go back to the script, and then first of all, we want to make sure that we can accept a color, so um, the minus minus force. So for that, we will uh, add in this line here. We'll change a little bit the code, and first of all, we break the lines so it's going to be easier to to read, and then add another flag, force, which doesn't have an equal s because it's just a, a flag that the user can either set or not, and it should go into the force variable that we, we still need to declare. So we declare the force variable. By default it's undef, right? So the way this will be, be work that if the user doesn't provide a minus minus force then the, this variable will stay as it is, as it was in the beginning, undef. So if we check it is in, in a condition it will be false. But if the user provides minus minus force then the get options will still set this variable to some kind of a true value, so probably one, but we don't care. We will just only care if the force is there, if it's true. So and then, so if the color is not not defined, then this is irrelevant. But if the color is defined, then we want to do, we want to check the color only if force is not given. If the force is given then we don't care about this check, right? Because because we say that, okay, then if the force is, is there, if the user set force, then it doesn't matter what really the color is. So we, said, we say here that if not force, then check it. So we take the whole code here, oops, sorry, all this part inside and move one inside indent and here we are so if there is no force then you can write it this so now if if I type in color red it's not a valid color but if I provide force then it accepts the red color it also accepts of course XYZ which is not really what we wanted, but if the user decided to use the force, then we'll do that. So that's the solution of, the of this exercise, but let's try to improve a little bit this script that we haven't done earlier either. So the first improvement is that this else and if could be united into one single else if. So we can remove this whole thing and provide an else if, and then we don't need this extra indentation now. So we can uh, just remove this whole internal extra condition and uh, this, the, this, the script should still work as it did earlier. Now let's try it and uh, it still accepts the, the, the XYZ 
but if we don't provide force it says it's not valid so what if we provide let's say blue it does accept the blue color remember we set it for uh, accepting lowercase so that was one uh, thing that we wanted to solve and the other improvement probably is that we would want to turn it around maybe well it would have made sense earlier maybe it's not making any more any, any sense now so it's okay to have the the not uh, defined part here